Hello everybody and thank you for tuning in. Today I will be showing you how to create the sketch photo effect in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now you can use CS2 or CS3, CS4, CS5, CS6 when it's out. Um, this, this method right here kind of strings across all of them. Um, I originally did this in CS2 I believe so therefore I know it goes back that far. Um, so yeah, let's uh, <laughs> let's go ahead and get started. I love this picture. Um, I did this in in class one day, just bored out of my mind. But we're not we're not gonna get you know get get behind the history of my new moon picture. Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. Right now we're going to duplicate this background layer or or our original image, and the purpose for that is because I don't like to mess with the original. Um, I just put it down there, shut off the eye, and you can't mess with it. It's good. You can't do anything to it. Um, so you're good. You can't mess it up. So just in case you screw this one up, then you can always go back. All right. So let's let's, let's go ahead and carry forward. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to go Control U or Command U if you're on the Mac and desaturate it. Now you could use Image Adjustments and then go down here in Saturation. I like shortcuts. Um, also, there's uh, another way you can do it. You can go image adjustments. Where'd it go? Black and white. There it goes. Alt Shift Control B. But the issue I have with this is that there is too many nodes for you to use before you can accomplish where you need to go. And then you got to find the median for all of them. And it's just it's kind of a hassle to do it that way. Me personally, I just go Control U or Command U take down saturation and then mess with the lightness now depending on your picture or your image um, will determine on if you need to add some or or whatnot usually I just leave it at zero and then if I feel it needs to be added again then I just restart the process the process itself is is extremely easy um, and hopefully if I have enough time I'll, I'll run through it twice for you guys um, just real quick to show you how easy it is alright so we're going to take this and we're going to duplicate that layer now control I or command I to invert it or you can just go over here to image adjustments invert control I um, and then take the transfer mode and go color dodge which should really mess up your image you're like that doesn't look like it was sketch I know it doesn't alright so after that what you want to do after you got color mode or color dodge you go up here to filters go to blur Gaussian blur and just set now here as you can see it already looks as if somebody drew it I mean it looks okay um, I mean mess with the mess with the little slider and the less radius you have on it the more crappier I guess it looks and the more radius you have on it the more detail it gives it um, but then it becomes it starts to look like a straight black and white image so you might want to just be careful with that for me I believe it's just six not sixty just six that I need and okay now there's another step to it is you want to go and you go up to image go to adjustments and then go brightness and contrast and what this does is bring down the brightness and you get some more of the detail in some of the shadows and, and the highlights remain where they're at and you can kind of it, it, it begins to really make it pop and it really looks as if somebody drew it instead of just tossing it into Photoshop and uh, you know just claiming they drew a picture so uh, that's pretty much the gist of it is that right there also I'm not using adjustment layers because they they affect every layer below it and so if I was you know hop on here and go brightness and contrast then it messes with the entire image and it doesn't give us the effect that we need on just that one layer so if you're wondering why I don't use adjustment layers for this one is because you don't want it to affect all of them you just want it just to affect that one layer alright so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and we're gonna start all over new layer just straight straight hotkeys alright I'm gonna shut off the eye grab that top layer control U pull that over I'm gonna leave it I'm, I'm gonna bring it down by negative two and then duplicate it again control I to invert transfer mode to color dodge filter Gaussian blur and then image adjustments 
brightness contrast bring the brightness down a bit to bring back those shadows you could even up the contrast a bit and voila bam you're done there you go it's been uh five minutes and some some odd seconds and you have a photo as if it looked like it was sketched in photoshop thank you for tuning in oh also also next week i will be showing you how to create this in adobe illustrator and a secret program that i'm not going to reveal until i release that tutorial so please tune in um, and i'll give you a hint it's not photoshop uh yeah so that's it got some lightning going all that other good stuff all right it's already been almost six minutes i'm gonna get off of here um but thank you for tuning in i am phil rate subscribe give me some of them little thumbs down there at the bottom and uh please leave comments um, if you have any questions, if there's something you didn't understand or if I went too fast, um, please leave a comment, subscribe. I, I can't stress that enough. Please subscribe. Um, I, I will be doing this hopefully every week and uh, showing you good stuff like uh, me me and Bella and uh, this really neat little logo banner thing I did. It's real, real simple. Well, actually, this isn't that easy, but yeah. Um, so thank you for tuning in. This has been IP Tuts. I am Phil, and uh, thank you for watching.